<laughs> two people have tuned in to watch us dig insect eat a leaf. Hello, two people. Who's on the chat? Philboy28 and Kobe Rag. Hello, are you both subscribers or have you just seen it randomly? I'm basically doing random maintenance in the tarantula cave and these two have been desperate for a feed for ages. Hi Brittany, how's it going? I just noticed it's been so hot that um, a lot of my teas are low on water. Thought it'd be a good excuse to um, top some of them up and maybe show you what some of them are looking like. Why not? <laughs> no, those are. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, so I've got this pair. Sadly, I lost one female. I don't really know what's going on with them. So these are Diaphorodes gigantea. The, um, what are they called? The New Guinea, no, Green Bean Stick Insects. Common name, common name stuck. Um, so this is the male right here. He's got wings. This is the female. Um, the guy who gave me them, sold me them, uh, told me that the females start to lay eggs a month after mating, but this guy is mating them all the time. Uh, they mate all the time and I haven't seen a single egg. At the moment, all I'm doing is creating a huge colony of um, springtails. So their enclosure has a load of cork bark in the bottom. Um, not cork bark, coconut fibre. And it's absolutely full of springtails who are doing a great job of eating all this mould up. My other stick insects have laid hundreds of eggs, but um, they're not looking super happy at the moment either. I can show you them in a minute. I'm going to try. The problem with this female is she's so heavy and the only bramble I've got near me at the moment I could get easily tonight. It's very thin. So I might need to put a few more sticks in that she can actually hold on to. Easier said than done. Uh, anyway, what was I doing? I was showing you I'm going to show you this girl. So that's my Salmopius Cambridgei female, who is looking gorgeous. But I don't know if she's mature yet. I think she probably is. So I would like to try and pair her to my male. Hiya, House of Bugs. Thanks for your comment on my uh, salmon mink breeding attempt video earlier. Yeah, she's gorgeous. I definitely, I don't know, I flip between the two, between Salmon Pierce Cambridge Eye and Salmon Pierce Aminia as the more, the more attractive, weirdly. I think because Aminias are so obviously nice looking that uh, I kind of, I feel that the, uh, the Cambridge I need a look in as an underdog. <laughs> anyway. Well, I was thinking I could try and pair some curly hairs now, just for the hell of it, because I have a very old male who is desperately clawing at the outside of his enclosure. What do you guys think? I'm also going to take the divider out from my Sazumai pair because they're just nothing really going on there. Actually, I want to show you guys my male. Check out the male Cambridge eye. He looks so amazing. Have you ever seen anything so gangly in your life? <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, do it. Feed him to the lions. 
I think the females are fed up enough not to do anything stupid. And also my previous experience with um, Honduran and curly hairs. Yeah, he's gorgeous, right? He only, he's only pretty freshly molted, so I don't think he's been that busy with sperm webs and things. Um, okay. So this is my old boy curly hair. Right, yeah, Brittany, so um, I think that he did do his thing, and I'm expecting Diva to produce an egg sac, but I am definitely not an expert, and fully open to the idea that he didn't. So, I have another male, my other, so my youngest juvenile, my youngest salmon pink is also a male, so if he didn't do the deed, then, uh, then I have a backup plan. Will I be getting Zeneths, this species white, Monstros, Perpobetus solaris? <laughs> yeah, when I win the lottery, all of those will be making their way to my house, Arachnid King. Um, I actually am unsure about, I love the Pamphos, I do think the Perpobetus species are beautiful, but I'm just not really big into terrestrial hair kicking tarantulas. <laughs> so, all right, here's the deal. We have a male and a female right here. Um, could use the other female's enclosure as a stand. So last time I did this, obviously not live, um, it went remarkably well. I'm very keen to repeat that process. OBT, oh yeah, so um, House of Bugs, did you see Gar's video where he's um, picked up those two, those two OBTs? Yeah, Gar's fault entirely. How big were those females? Jeez, I was, I had serious Terranachylus envy. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these lids off and then all hell's gonna break loose, basically. I'm wondering if I should put the stick and sex away first. Might be a good plan. I'm gonna do that in case something goes really wrong. Okay, maybe they'll just work it out themselves. This male is very old. He's been around a long time and he did, he was the male who was in my first, uh, in my first curly hair breeding video. They could both just run in different directions, of course, which is basically what he's doing, great. Actually, last time he approached from a different direction See, she's not skinny. Oh, he's just run off under her thing. <laughs> what on earth? I'm feeling like... him hiding under there is not a good sign. At least everyone can hear me this time, which is a definite benefit. So I was reading an interesting thing um, in that book that everyone loves about tarantulas that sometimes it's better to put the female in the male's enclosure. Anyone got any thoughts on that? I mean, she's going walkabout anyway. Hi John, good to see you on here. Is he gonna come back out? Because she might just walk in there and eat him, I mean. <laughs> it's 
See, I gave them that beautiful bridge to walk over and they're just gonna ignore each other. What's the picture quality like, by the way? Just interested. Oh, that's cool. Oh look, he's backing out, is he? What he doesn't want to do is stay in there when she comes in because if he doesn't back out quick enough. Oh no, she's coming out this way, that's not the plan. Ah, how creepy are those legs, right? I am hoping for an egg sack from my LP. She's currently chilling out by a water dish. This curly hair's like, freedom? Actually, where is my catch cup? Well, I just upgraded my phone in the interests of um, trying to improve things. She is not big. She is small. Um, well, not small. You know, definitely mature. I mean... Whoa! <laughs> She obviously saw my hand coming. So who was that? Um, trying to remember who it was did a recent video where they basically took both female and male out and put them on the bed and then just left them in front of each other. I really want him to wake up. So yeah, here's the deal. So with my curly hairs, I have two adult females and I have an adult male who matured ages ago and I have another male who isn't mature yet. They're all exactly the same age. So I have this theory that um, is probably already known about in some species of tarantulas that there's different mating strategies for males so that some of them mature, some of them mature really early to try and kind of maximize their speed of reproduction and then some of them mature later so they're bigger and they're less likely to get eaten maybe just an idea right so she could go into his bit and presumably if she does go in there she'll realize that he's um realize that there's a male in there I do have two Acanthoscuria geniculata, but again, they're part of my, the bit of my collection where I'm like, terrestrial hair kickers, meh. They are beautiful though, and they do eat like pigs. I'm definitely more of a, if I have the choice, arboreal and fossorial tarantula keeper. Um, but I do love the curly hairs just because I had them before when I was younger, and a lot of the kind of terrestrials are big and beautiful so it's tricky now because I quite like to show you some other stuff but also so the genics I don't know like they were an absolute steal I got them from a guy who gave they were kind of their juveniles kind of big juveniles and they were 10 pounds each and I just wasn't planning to get them and then I was like actually 10 pounds each for decent sized geniculatus is ridiculous value so I got them and they're, they're great fun. They're not growing as fast as I perhaps would like. There's all sorts going on here tonight. I've got um, a pair of better palafina in a tank displaying each other. Those are fish by the way, not spiders. Hmm, stalemate. I feel like he's not going to come out now. <laughs> Meanwhile, the female that I'm using for a stand... Hello! She wants in on the action. She's heard there's a boy around and she's like, yeah, breeding time. Uh, both my geniculatas are female. Um, and much smaller, so they will be a long way off breeding. My next breeding project, 
I want this male or the next male, but probably this male to breed both my females. That's my hope. And then um, I would very much like my Sazamai to pair, but the male is so old that I can't see that happening. So what I'm going to do is remove the divider on their enclosure um, tonight. And then, because actually he's so old, I mean, Gar talked about this basically, he was like, you should just take the divider out because if the male's that old, he's probably either going to do it or not. So you might as well cut your losses and let them live together. And if she eats him, at least she'll be ready for the next male. Um, what else is going on? I feel like I should have set these up further into the room than I have, because I have no space to work with now. Classic. Classic planning by me. So my um, Davis Pentaloris breeding program <laughs> is not going to plan at all, because the female's enclosure looks like this. She very kindly completely hold herself in, so... I have no idea even where the entrance is. I think the entrance was here. So she's probably molting, having spent eight months refusing to molt and then molting, and then me getting excited about breeding her. And now she's just hiding. All right. Yeah, so that's it. So the guy I bought this as a I from said that the female was, um, mature for hunt for sure um and this is the uh, the guy who escaped in my last well live video before last looking very much alive today though but he will not be getting to breed with that female because she's as i said hiding away so this is this is says in my town yeah i think this hot weather is making them fast though personally it seems to me that Although they are very beautiful, Sazamai are not very friendly in terms of how they could be. I get threat postures off both the male and the female whenever I get anywhere near them, which is irritating. Um, well, no progress on curly hair time. So, just need to make sure But I don't get tagged by this boy because he's a pain. Move. There he goes. Because the last thing I want to do is do another live video where I spend the whole video fishing out a spider from behind one of my fish tanks. Um, what do I need other than thick gloves? So you can see the female down there, looking all purple and cool. So what happened was I tried to pair them a while back and then they swapped sides when I put the divider in. So I was like, well, whatever, they can manage. Hmm. I don't like where the male is in terms of that not going wrong. <laughs> so I might have to chicken out on that one unless I can persuade him to go. Basically, if he was a nice spider, I could persuade him to go under the cork bark. But he's an angry spider, so he'll just turn around and try and fight whatever I poke him with. Uh, so the other option is to do it this way. Yes, potentially. Oh, curly hair's on the move. Very slowly. Don't run, don't run, do not run. Oh, let go already. Let go, let go. Whoa! Too angry. Back it up. There we go. Ah. I am a little bit freaked out by these sets of mine just because of the attitude. Look at her though, she's very pretty. The 
Okay, the gloves are off, or at least the divider's off. Pop this back. And wish the mail good luck. We'll find out what happens. Yeah, yeah. He is in the position known as I'm gonna leg it. He was just like sitting there like, right, I'm off. It's all right, I got away with it that time. I don't think you're gonna see a curly hair breeding because he's just completely wussed out. Having spent the last week desperately clawing to get out. I'm trying to work out whether I should rehouse that female Cambridge eye as well because I could do with a bit more space if I'm gonna breed them. I now have an empty enclosure, of course, because of uh, recent events that transpired with that male salmon pink. I mean, I guess if this female does crawl into the male's enclosure, then he might come out and say hi. What temperature do I keep my teas? Uh, this is a space heated, used to, well, it used to be a space heated fish room, so now it's a space heated tarantula room. It has been insanely hot in here, so the, the actual radiator hasn't been on, but it's easily been in the kind of high 20s Celsius in here. Which is why I'm gutted, because I, I would like very much to keep Megaphobema mesomelas, but it's a very much a, a cooler temperature tea. And as a result, it wouldn't survive five minutes in here, really. Has this finished? No, it hasn't started. Oh, now she's going to hide. Well, that's... <laughs> How to keep a captivated audience. Just film video of spiders hiding in enclosures. <laughs> Here you go, I'll show you Diva instead. What a fatty. That is a big old meal that she ate. She got herself caught in her own web. Well done. Yes, she is huge. Yeah, I mean, interestingly, I had the, when I picked her up, I had the choice between her and a slightly bigger female, and of the two, she was definitely gorgeous. After how long should you be concerned about food refusal? B. Amelia in particular, uh, long. Mine will refuse food for ages. pre can last ages. Well, they've really just taken themselves off. I don't know what her leg span is. I'm... Are we talking outstretched, or are we talking tucked in? See, no one ever specifies. I'm just gonna put these guys away because it's not gonna happen tonight. Which is fine. I'm not about to start prodding them, so. Um, yes, so outstretched. I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Outstretched diagonal leg span would easily be, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six. I would say six to seven inches, maybe seven. It's hard to tell. I would say close to seven. But she's definitely still not as big as the other one that I could have had, so, you know, could be bigger. Will be bigger, no less. Should we do a half-time fighting fish show? Go! Is she bigger than Mark's LP? Good question. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how big Mark's LP is. Pretty big though, right? So the other option I have is if these guys were up for it, then 
I have my Tapinokinius cuprius. Yeah, his is huge. But then he's actually measured his, so. Look, there's my Aminia at the back. Watch how quickly she disappears into a hole. Whoa, gone. <laughs> so this guy was actually out, but now he's tucked himself away again. If I was going to breed them, I would put them... Whoa, look at that for bad spider husbandry. Note to self, don't leave the enclosure with the lid off for many days. Luckily, I can see the spider right next to my thumb. She's a cutie. Close that properly. Hmm. Nine to ten inches. Wow, where do you live? Oh, hello. Low power remaining. That's not good either. Uh, let's pop these away. My other concern is that... Oh yeah, so I love that butterfly farm. I've been there many times. That's pheasant pie. She was looking like she might be going to lay an ooth. And then... And then she didn't. Well, she hasn't yet. Yeah, I can show you some sick and sick pigs. It's a great, it's a great, um, hello, uh, stick and say eggs. So yeah, I don't know if any of you saw my Instagram photo of this, uh, the female that died. I tried to pin her out and she was green and now she's black. So I'm not sure how successful, that, successful that's been. I think, um, it might be a case of waiting her to dry out completely and then actually repainting her, which would be a novel idea, but probably would work. Uh, stick and say eggs, well. I can show you, these are some eggs of um, Eurycantha calcarata, which is the, oh, I always get it wrong. Oh, one of them hatched. Whoa, hold the front door. Whoa, that is insane. These aren't supposed to hatch till November. Uh, this is one of these are stick and take eggs I got from Sam Carver from Bug Realms as a freebie gift at the British Tarantula Society show and He told me they would hatch in six months and I've just found a nymph Which is amazing. Hi Sam. That is insane. Uh, I am literally the biggest surprise ever um, as you can see on this lid I wrote 20th of November 2018 as the suspected hatch date, but I have been keeping them quite moist and it has been really hot. Uh, that is sweet, because I just lost one of my Diaphrodes males for no reason that I can tell. Uh, wow, it's fast too. Uh, best plan, stick a bramble leaf in with him? Yeah, probably. What would you reckon, Sam? I need to find a bramble leaf. Preferably not a deadly one. Uh, let's go for this. That's really funny. It's um, I still haven't cashed in on my um, animal world. I know, right? Insane. Um, yeah, because I went to an animal experience thing, and because I did a review of their thing, they, um, yeah, do you want that? You might, mind you. Depends how slow you are to... Oh, well, I'll leave it like that. You can decide for yourself. Maybe a bit of water down the side. Don't want to drown them, that's the thing. Cause... So, yeah, I, had, I think I lost one, Sam. I've got one of them went mouldy, and then I still have nine. I can't believe that's just, <laughs> I can't believe that's just hatched. 
hilarious. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's cool. Uh, right, so we all wanted to see some other eggs. So other eggs, these ones aren't hatching, but that's because they're not due to hatch for ages. Um, I also haven't collected them up, so uh, I'll just have to rest this here. Um, if I get a pointy stick, hi Peter, this uh, this no feed isn't going to last that much longer because my battery's going to run out. So I apologise if it just stops. Um, I mean, I could go and get a charger to be fair. So, <laughs> if you're paying attention, this is the um, my Acrea Terra Phallax enclosure, and all these. Um, brown so there's a lot of poo but all the brown things so this and this here that one there that that there is a stick insect egg um they're really interesting they're like little purses with like um little black dots at each end um and i just i thought about taking them out and putting them on some sort of substrate but I'm misting this enclosure fairly regularly and they are sitting on kitchen towel but there are hundreds of eggs in here easily um, when they'll hatch out I don't know do I know when tarantula guy 1976 is coming back I do not um, I think the only person who has an inkling might be tarantula cat uh, by the way how beautiful are they I mean that that female is one of my favourite, favourite animals in the collection. And this is my remaining juvenile male, Diaphorodes gigantea. He hasn't yet matured, but will probably in the next vault, I would think. I decided to try and keep them together because I had so much bramble in this enclosure um, that they weren't really getting in each other's way. Yeah, he did, a, he did a video with Kat, he said he was coming back, but he keeps saying he's coming back, but I guess if he comes back, he's going to come back with some sort of insane um, animal room of amazement that will make everyone jealous. At least that's what I'm expecting to see. So, oh yeah, randomly I have four wasps because I stupidly stuck the light on in this room and uh, I have a wasp nest outside the window that I didn't really think about. I love that pheasant pie is like, whatever, whatever, live video people. I have no idea if she's uh, doing well or not, having eaten that male. What size mesh is that? Uh, it's known as net curtain. <laughs> Are you talking about the uh, stick insect enclosure or the, uh, the lid I'm holding now? Because the stick insect enclosure just came you know, I bought it. Where did I buy it from? I bought it from Amazon, I think. Um, and it's great, actually. Uh, it looks to be about... It's probably close to 3x3 three three mil. Or, yeah, something like that. 3x3, three three, I would say. Let me show you my new, my latest... Latest beauty. Oh, look at her. She's so gorgeous. love this species so much it's my newly acquired adult female hysterocrates gigas who is also on my list to breed the difficulty with breeding these guys isn't isn't so much that i'm very worried about them it's because the male lives in here and he has a burrow that starts here goes down here all the way down here and literally all the way to the back and comes out underneath that bit of piping um, so my, my chances of being fast enough to get him out of there into the female's enclosure are so small. So that might be another one where I think, well, maybe I'll just send the female in and she can go and find him, see what happens. Oh, what else is going on? I haven't, I haven't checked my teeth for a few days, actually. Um, I imagine most of you will have already watched the, uh, <laughs> tea Celadonia. Nope. I will kill that so fast if I get one of those, so I'm not going to do it. Um, most of you will have seen Tarantula Cats collab with Everyone Big. 
uh, on Green Bottle Blues. So I recently rehoused this one, my girly. And she is beautiful. Just in case you haven't all had enough Green Bottle Blue for one evening. But yeah, they are hair kickers and super skittish and all the rest of it. But very beautiful. No, it's not time to come out. She's actually really, really big, so she doesn't need, as in full of food, not big, big size. She's only, she's only that big. So, but I thought I'd show you guys because everyone's going on about them. Have I seen Theraphosa in the wild? No, nope. I would like to. Um, no, the only tarantulas I've seen in the wild are Sparabothria half Marnie. I'm hoping to go to Vietnam next year just because I want to go to Vietnam, but also because they have all their killer bracket species and it would be quite fun to find one of those in the wild. Yeah, right. Food wise, mostly food wise. I mean, there's, I'm, you know, yes, I like tarantulas, but I'm, I've always been a wildlife nut. So it's not just tarantulas. There are a lot of, ta da! So this is a species I think everyone should have, really. I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know why you wouldn't. If anyone saw my, uh... yeah, right. Selma P.S. Erminia, the Venezuelan sun tiger. Not only one of the best looking tarantulas, but also, I think, the coolest name, because sun tiger is just a brilliant name. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Peter. I'm not in a rush to spend 400 quid on a small tarantula, especially because, which one is it? Is it the Ibir Ibirapura diversipes? which basically looks like T. Celadonia for about three quarters of its life and then turns into a brown job. I mean, you might as well just have five of those or like 10 of those. Actually, one of my versicolors was due to molt. What are you doing now? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's an evening of discovery, people. I was just saying that one of my Caribbean versicolor was due to molt and it has. I need to get some more food in. I'm literally, my mealworm colony got completely infested with food mites, so I had to get rid of the whole. And I currently have no crickets, no locusts, nothing. And I would feed some of my dubia roaches off, but they're. Um, I'm desperately trying to get them to turn into a, a bit more of an, a bit more of a colony than they currently are. I'm just going to put some water in. You've got one, have you? Trues. So what trues? See, I like, I do like true spiders. I've had a few like native ones, but they don't live as long. <laughs> I've still got my false widow colony going very well and uh, still got my cave spider, amazingly, because I thought I'd kill that and I haven't. Um, what is she? She's a Mena Bonetti, but she's right there. Meta Bonetti, even. I don't know if you can even see her, but she's basically there. And she eats flies sometimes. Actually, needs her. So, the thing I found with the with the versicolors is they really suffer if you don't keep the water dish full but they don't like a lot of humidity so I lost a few because I let them get too dry from not having a full water dish. Yeah you look like you might be molting soon too. Now I look at you. Oh, 
Yeah, the dubious, they, the dubious just kind of become pets, don't they? That's the thing. Hogner would be great, yeah. I wouldn't mind a wolf spider. I saw, I found a huge one in, where was I, Turkey? Absolutely enormous under a rock. You know what I am quite keen to put a lot of money down on though? A nice centipede. I think that would be worth it. <laughs> Looking all gorgeous down there. Oh, you can't see it. Just have to take my word for it. Yes, I think the difficulty with all these hobbies, because I used to be really into tropical fish, I mean, I still am really into tropical fish, I just stopped keeping them, um, is that people end up getting obsessed with rare stuff and forget that part of the attraction isn't about rare stuff, it's about what they look like, you know, it's, people get really obsessed with very plain brown or blue tarantulas because they're rare and hard to get and, and that happens all the time it happens with cichlid fish all the time people want wild caught stuff and they just don't really think that actually for a fraction of the cost they could have something that looks better or behaves more interestingly uh, that could be captive bred there's a lot of kind of wild caught obsession. I mean, I do it too. You see something, you know, expensive and rare and you think, oh, I'd love to have that because no one else has it. But there's some really great species that, you know, you could easily have a, a collection of a hundred tarantulas and none of them be particularly rare, but still have like amazing species in there. I mean, the problem with centipedes, the reason they're expensive is because they're kind of generally wild caught. I'm well pleased that's malted. Although it's not a lot of movement going on. Uh, let me play that game again. Yeah, you're definitely okay. Good. <laughs> I just blew into this enclosure to make sure they're all dead. Uh, what else is new? Otto Stigma Scabber. What does that look like? Scaber. Night, sweet escape. Thanks for checking in. Yeah, first of all, it is very beautiful and very, very common. And I love mine. Can't wait for them to get big. Someone was asking me about Geniculata, so. These are my two. They're kind of roughly the same age, but one is definitely fatter than the other one. But yeah, they're kind of classic. What did you pay 30 quid for? Oh, in hairs already, why would you? Fine, I'll leave your lid on then. <laughs> See what I mean? People rave about these. I've seen people handling juveniles this big and I just wouldn't want to. Hello. Oh, I was reading about centipedes. Okay, where was the description? Purple body, white and blue legs. That sounds cool, I'm gonna have to look that up. Synthesis so species blue is nice, but again, expensive. I think the Pamphobetes is gonna become that, that genus is going to become cheaper in the UK. There's a lot more people breeding them at the moment. I think Mark, Mark Harrison, who's breeding tons of them, well, still is. Um, yeah. You can't deny that they're very pretty. And big ones. I mean, an adult female geniculata. Great, great show spider, but again, you've got to think a bit about how you take the lids off and stuff. Someone was asking about Emilia's as well. Might Emilia's do a malt? 
I'm forgetting to top up the water now. You guys are distracting me. <laughs> Would I handle what? The geniculatus, or are you talking about centipedes still? Ah, the brachypelmas. It takes so long to grow. Yeah, no, no way am I handling a geniculata. It's never gonna happen. They can forget it. Yeah, I was looking at the Malaysian jewel centipede when they first came in in the spider shop a while back and they were 300 quid. And I was thinking, if only I had a few more subscribers and a decent Patreon going, then I would probably ask people to contribute because they are beautiful. Yeah, really pricey, although they're coming down. So for anyone who's interested, um, Venomous Visions, so Tony Webb in the UK, uh, he has started selling just centipedes and we're selling them at the recent Western Invert show. And he has show prices for them, which will be current for the Eastern Invert show, which I'm hoping to go to. So if any of you are going to the Eastern Invert show, I will be there and we should say hi. Um, but yeah, they're coming down sort of 255, something like that. And he's also got Indian blue legs, which are about 70, which I think were the ones that Sam, you were hoping to pick up. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it, you see. Some are nice, some are not. I've got two horrible ones. Although, again, there's a bit of me that thinks some of these things are a bit temperature related. And given the temperature in here, you know, the spiders are wide awake. You see a lot of people handling freshly malted tarantulas on Instagram um, to show how hard they are. Um, so it's always a bit difficult to know with different species. I mean, I've got a really miserable Grammastola pulchra as well. And actually this Amelia is not the most friendly thing in the world either. She's quite a flicker and generally a bit peed off about stuff. Here's an interesting one. So you guys saw that, if those of you who were in earlier, you saw the um, the size. Oh, that's just molded as well. I was about to say that my, uh, <laughs> this is tiny, my smallest curly hair. And I was about to say she's tiny, but she's just, um, she's just molted too. It's all this humidity. Don't be sorry, Sam. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks very much for those stick insect eggs. I can't believe one just hatched. So um, that's kind of made my day actually. Take care, bud. <laughs> Thanks, David. I'm getting, getting Facebook messages and all sorts now. Very exciting. Um, you can go back. Pulper had stuffed in, but it was just wedging itself down the side of its enclosure <laughs> just to freak me out. Thanks, spiders. Update on the Sazamai is that the female hasn't budged an inch since I removed the divider, and the male is still in run for the hills position. So I'm expecting to find a bolus in the morning. <laughs> That'll just be him. Him gone. Um. Where's my OBT gone? Oh, she's gone hiding. You know what? I think that's about it. I'll tell you what. This rosea is the most pointless tarantula I've ever kept. Can you believe this used to be the biggest? And, uh, I think she's molted once in the two years I've had her. <laughs> and I haven't given her any water for about a month. And I haven't fed her for about two months and her abdomen is twice the size of a carapace. So I reckon like Grandma Stola Rosea potentially could survive some serious stuff. 94 quid. 
Yeah, adult female Balfouris are expensive. That's why it kind of works out to go for a... Yeah, they're totally hard as nails. Indestructible. And of course, this one's an angry, nasty, evil one as well, even though she's that big. Hello. Um, yeah, most expensive tea. There aren't many teas on my list that are actually really expensive. I kind of like, don't, I kind of like quite cheap ones. Um, my my pulchra would have been, but I got her for like thirty quid or something ridiculous. <laughs> what? Yeah, they all hate me. That's the theme. It's a sign. It's a sign that I shouldn't really keep tarantulas at all. So having thirty-five isn't really the way to go. Yeah, I've only got, so the only one I've handled is my male curly hair, and only because he's like, you know. Oh, let's all say hello to Obi. Hello, Obi. 90 quid, yeah, right, so they're expensive. Um, yeah, this is my Jaguar cichlid, and he's awesome. So this is my doobie colony. There was a bit of chat on the Tarantula YouTube community about about um, someone found an Uthica, but they're supposed to be live bearers. But mine occasionally drop Uthicas as well. But they're not doing great, I'll be honest. So, where do we get to? Hello, completely failed to pair the curly hairs. I've taken the divider out from the sesamite, so they might breed at some point, or she'll just eat him. Hopefully he won't eat her, because that would be terrible. Um, what else have I done? Put some water in a few enclosures, that's about it. But I think it's been fun. I'm going to go to bed now, because I have to work in the morning. But um, thanks for tuning in. Always a pleasure. And uh, I'll catch you next time. <laughs> yeah, get a fish tank as well. Definitely do that. See you guys.